Right, okay. Um, just a little bit of a background to this then. Um, weirdly and horribly, I've got involved in one of these uh, neck and nominate challenges. Now, I've been nominated by uh, Rod Constable, who, um, in fact, is a bloke that I've never, ever even met face to face. I've never had a drink with him, I've never shook his hand, I've never seen him in the flesh. However, he has nominated me to do this. Now, the one thing I can say about Rod Constable, we haven't seen his, his uh, challenge on this, is that uh, he's definitely a Phil Tufnell looky-likey. And, um, you know, if a question of sport ever needs uh, a stand-in for Phil Tufnell, uh, Rod Constable is your man. Um, the, this whole thing has been instigated by the, um, the Thomas family, who, um, it, it transpires, are just about to uh, take Facebook over completely. Uh, anyway, um... Never to shirk a challenge. Um, I, uh, I've got my best attire on. I've had a shave. Um, I've used an old razor blade. I think I should have used a new one. Um, and I think really, without any more preamble, uh, I ought to really just get into what we're doing here. So, I actually prefer the lighter coloured beer. So I'm kind of with, uh, I think it was Freddie Thomas with his Desperado. Um, Guinness. Colin used, bit of a cheat in my mind, uh, because it hides up all the uh, lovely uh, ingredients of your challenge. Right, so there we are, we've got a little bit of Peroni in our pint glass there. Now a lot of people have gone for some very um, uh, salty, bitter things, but I've actually got quite a sweet tooth. And I actually think that what's going to go quite nicely in there is some marshmallows. Um, Marshmallows and beers, never been tried, but, you know, what the heck. Uh, I don't know if you can get that, can you, Joe? With the, uh, there we are, that's uh, three whole big marshmallows. Um, I might actually just get them absorbing the beer a little bit. Yeah, oh, yes, that's the reaction we like, a little bit of a fizzy reaction. Now, uh, of course we need some sort of salad dressing in there. It's a, a natural thing to have in there. I'm going with some uh, Thousand Island dressing, something that I really do like. A little dollop of that in there. Thousand Island is looking good. Uh, heat, heat-wise, everyone's gone for a bit of heat. I'm having some hot chilli powder in there. Uh, not too much, so I don't want to blow my socks off. I want to enjoy this as much as possible. So, just a sort of levelish teaspoon and I think another little quite a nice colour I see some effect going on at the bottom there with the marshmallows they seem to be disintegrating nicely there obviously the desired effect uh, following on from there uh, a little bit of salt I won't go too mad on the salt flavour I'm just going to put um, little gherkin called a Cornish on in. Chop that finely of course. Let's get the flavours out. Uh, naturally enough, like many people out there, you've got loads of these all hanging around that need eating up from Christmas, so there you are, that's uh, an opportunity to start getting that eaten up. Um, that's the Cornish on in there. Um, if like Rod Constable, you're a proper London boy, in Rod's case he's from Saar, London, um, you'd know a little bit of rhyming slang. And for example, you'd say something like, gonna take a ball of chalk, down a rubber dub dub, and have myself a pig's ear. Now for those of you that have only got a little knowledge of rhyming slang, I'll just try to translate that for you. What that actually means is, I'm gonna take a ball of chalk, walk, down the rubber dub dub, pub, for a pig's ear, beer. Now, interestingly, I do actually have here a real pig's ear and I think really this is going to be the absolute supreme ingredient to my pig's ear. I'm actually putting, well, oh, you never have guessed it's that strong but there we are, pig's ear in my beer. Lovely, how's that? I'll just, uh, there you are, pig's ear in my beer. Lovely, lovely. Um, now then, we're getting there. Um, 
I've dressed in a retro manner because as I'm sure you, well many of you know, I'm involved in the retro clothing business. So got my ID on here, adapter clothing. Um, and uh, the, hence the retro shirt and that. But also uh, I'm quite involved with um, my uh, classic scooter, my old Lambretta. Now I did want to pay some sort of homage to um, the, the Lambretta in this. And I did actually want to put some two-stroke oil into my, um, my challenge here. However, my health team have, uh, have advised me that it would probably kill me. Um, so what I'm actually going to go with is homage to my scooter, a little three-in-one oil, just, uh, just a little touch of that. A few drops of three-in-one. <laughs> Apparently that's a lethal dose of three in one. And it's all right for a sewing machine and a scooter, so I'm sure it's all right with me. Um, so we're really, really getting there now. I think I've got all of my ingredients there. Um, so we'll start topping that up now with the beer. A little season to taste, of course. Pepper there. Salt. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll top that up and allow it to marinate. Those of you that know me, when I go out to dinner, I do like a Sambuca after, after my meal and no exception today. Another little Sambuca. Naturally, was uh, highly sophisticated. Three coffee beans in there, which naturally enough, I'm going to love it. And oh, oh, thank you. Doc. Okay, nicely like now, Miss Sambuca. To add the final touch of sophistication to this cocktail. The dog wants his pig's ear, I think. Nice umbrella. Oh. Swizzly stick and a stirrer. Now then. The intention was to make that into a uh, torpedo with the Sambuca, but I don't think we're going to quite uh, get that uh, as I want it. So what I'm going to do is, the risk of setting the uh, umbrella on fire, and pour that into there. Lovely. Safely done. Looking like a top job there, I reckon. Which would, uh, we'd say a uh, proper job. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. Got to nick this in one go. Uh, right. Cheers all. Good health. Uh, pig's ear with a pig's ear. Really, really, really quite good actually. I am really pleased with that. 